all right guys what is going on welcome back to the channel all right guys so <clears throat> i have been out for a couple of weeks due to surgery uh i am back so without further delay i'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through this video today all right so we're going to be trying to fish for a mangrove snapper um primarily we want to try to fish for a gag grouper because it's gag grouper season and i've been dying to get out here for gag grouper um but we're going to fish for gag grouper snapper and we're going to try to do some mackerel fishing too guys but the reason why i have all this laid out for you guys is because i wanted to show you guys exactly what i have in my fishing arsenal so you can better prepare yourselves when you go out fishing um this is just your standard waterproof uh tackle box that i have swivels i have sinkers all kinds of egg sinkers in it uh two ounce one ounce three ounce i even have split shots in here as well when i go out to a like sebastian inlet which is a man-made inlet uh, also i have um some uh pet laurels too um so if i want to do some macro fishing um what i do is i'll tie those to a uh a two ounce um uh, double uh, egg sinker and um, I'll do maybe like a three to a four foot uh, leader um, attached to the uh, the pet lure for that all right guys so uh, getting on to the uh, leader uh, situation um, so I have uh, all different sizes of leaders guys that, that I try um, and the reason why I have so many uh, is because you never know the conditions for one that you're going to be fishing and you never know um, how the fish are going to bite so it's it, it, it would behoove you to bring as many type size uh, leaders as you can find whether that be monofilament or whether that be fluorocarbon um, and they're ranging size for me uh, the lowest I like going is 12 pound and I'll tighten up my drag to the slightest of tightness when it comes to the drag for that obviously because it's 12 pound um and uh so on and so forth guys so i have 12 14 17 20 and then i also have some uh 40 uh, pound here um but i use only vanish berkeley guys vanish berkeley uh sorry berkeley vanish fluorocarbon has never let me down um i've always caught fish with uh berkeley vanish fluorocarbon um, I would recommend you get that um, ASAP if you don't have it already and watch your uh, fishing um, options gr drastically change from just that. Berkeley Vanish is, if not one of the best fluorocarbons on the market for me, guys. That's what I fish, especially bridge fishing. And like I said, I have different types of um, different sizes. So um whatever the conditions are however the fish want it i throw it to them and i change up quickly because i've had i have everything right here um, i also want to walk you guys through how i how i do my uh, cut bait especially right now at this time of year it's super hot um, so what i like to do is i'll go and get a 20 pound bag of ice 10 pound, pound 10 pound bag of ice however whichever one you can get whatever's convenient for you throw a little bit in a, a bake bucket or maybe you got a Ziploc bag and then carry around some iodized salt with you guys, kosher salt too, any kind of salt. Um, or you, you can use some of the salt water um, from the ocean, um, but put you a little bit in there and I promise you guys, it is going to keep your bait, especially with cut bait, it's gonna keep your cut bait that much fresher. Um, so you can continue throughout the day and you don't have to exhaust yourself throwing the cast net or um, sitting here all day with a sabiki rig. All right, guys, enough of that chatter. We're going to get into fishing. All right, guys, so I'm going to walk you through my uh, gag grouper uh, leader uh, setup, actually. Not leader, but setup. Yeah, leader and setup. All right, so what I have right now, I got about two and a half, three feet of uh, fluorocarbon. And this is a 100-pound test. Um, I did a uh, standard um, knot on this bad boy. Um, I have a, a, a five-aught circle hook and um a three ounce uh egg sinker and then i have 80 pound test line um and then i just have a standard uh casting reel um 
I don't really like messing with convention, conventional rod uh, reels like that. Um, probably just because I haven't found the one that suits me. Um, I am left-handed, so finding a left-handed convention reel is definitely, um, you know, not easy to do. Um, so again, you know, I just use a regular casting reel and um, I have a ugly stick big water um, that is has never let me down guys and uh, always does the trick for me um, so you guys stay tuned hopefully we can, we can get in some uh, gag grouper Yeah, gag. Yeah. Well, you're, you're the first one I've seen catch one all week. Really? I've been here all week. First one. First one, yeah. Let's take him out. Cut. Back. Yep. All right, guys. First one of the day. Probably two right here. She might pick that thing right there. Yeah. What's up, yeah, man? Make up my, my, I got, I got blood and stuff yeah, on my hands. Yeah, yeah. What's up, man? Course, Happy Father's Day. Yeah, yeah man. Good cook too, huh? Hey, yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Hey y'all, y'all, uh, you fishing? Are you? Yeah, I'm gonna go fish. I'm about to get some shrimp. Okay. And, uh, over here, I know that spot right there. That's like the spot that everybody goes to right here. Yeah. Like right yeah, yeah. That guy's always there. <laughs> that guy does? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Catch that spot like that. But you gotta know how to fish it though. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't know how to fish it, so you gotta know how to fish it. Yeah, so, sir. hey, but good luck to y'all, man. I appreciate it. You have a good one. It's always good to see people. Always good to see people to watch the channel. Oh, start recording. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that big one worked me to death. So it's time to break. And you know what time? You know what kind of break I'm having, guys? That's right. It's the honey bun. Uh, honey, if no one cares about the honey bun. This commercial. Brought to you by Little Debbie's Honey Bun. I can't eat that. I That's good. Come, let me show you what a snapper are. Come here. It's also right there by those pillars. Oh, I can't get it out of there. 
Don't throw it in the pillar. Uh-uh. Merk, reel it back in and throw it closer. Well, you're standing right next to it, so. Okay, I'm sorry. Get as close as you can. Get as close as you can. There you go. Uh, that's good. That's good. They'll come out and get it. Now, now what you want to do is you want to give them a slap. Okay, let me see your rod. Loosen up your drag a little bit. You're the one that's doing it. There you go. Now, what you want to do is look. Look at my look at my slack. Up here. That's slack. That's called slack. What? You see? That. The line. You see that bow yeah, in the line? That's slack. Now you want to wait for the fish to bite. Once he, the reason why you want to do that with snappers because they're going to run with it. Once they run with it, then, then you got a circle hook, so you don't need to set the hook. They're going to run with it. We might have to go into the uh, bait, bait shop. We might have to go into the bait shop for snapper. Stuck? You're stuck? It's all right, I'm coming. It is a fish. See, I told you. See? Here, I'm gonna reel here, it in. Here, that's your fish. That's your no, fish, Nib. No, no. Alright, guys. Nib has got her first snapper of the day. It looks like it's about, I'm gonna say it's eight. Eight inches. What you gonna say? Nine. Huh? Nine. Nine inches? I'm gonna say eight inches. But what's what's the legal size on the snapper? Ten. And what's the legal size on sheep said? Okay. Good job. You got me. Look at this no, snapper, you, you guys. It's yeah, so it small. It was nine. I was correct. Is it on? No, you got me. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. No problem. I, I'm not trying to scream at you, Neil, but it's a big one. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Keeper, grouper. Woo, yeah. Heck yeah, boy. Neil, Neil, you grab that pole for me? Hey. Yeah, hey, give me some, baby. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can. Really? It's in season. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's your name? David. David. Hey, Gladiator Fishing. <laughs> YouTube. Gladiator you Fishing. Gladiator Fishing. Oh, hey, I appreciate your help, man. No problem. I just, I just saw you were fighting as well. <laughs> okay. Woo, boy. Yeah. 
Yes! Can I go get my cereal? Yeah, go ahead, Neb. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to scream at you, baby. Just trying to hear it and get them. Woohoo! Yeah, guys. Okay. Look at that monster right there. Okay. Guys, look at that. Guys, look at that monster right there. Look at that monster, baby. Yeah. Woo. Okay. Let's get a measurement on him, baby. Let's do it. He is 27. 27, baby! <laughs> Woo, yeah! Guys, he is strong. Guys, look at that. Oh, my God. Gladiator fishing, baby. Let's get it. Second one. Actually, it's not second one. Yeah. Second one, guys. Here we go. 